trying to be friendly. like you. It follows you around and does everything you do. Thank <laughs> you. 
see my shadow. This way, boys. Why are you taking us to the museum, Uncle Herman? Because there's something very special I want you kids to see. And here is the first man-made mousetrap. It sure does. It's only an exhibit. And this is the most dangerous mouse trap of them all.
Douglas to come out. One, two, three. I've been looking for. Just leave everything to Captain Hyman. A Northwest Mousy always gets his cat. <laughs> Catnip, I arrest you in the name of the Northwest Mousies. <laughs> West Thank <laughs> you. 
Mush! Mush! to school.
Hey, Mr. Truant Officer, I didn't mean to hurt you. Gotcha at last! But, Mr. Truant Officer... Shut up! You're going back to school! nonsense long enough. Now we're gonna make you just as mean as we are. No, no, not that! Grab him, man! Pull him down! Oh, no, no. Okay. 
a fresh cord grow rubbed on the scalp will make hair grow. Hmm. That sounds logical. I dreams of Jeannie with the cold black hair. She loves my feathers. They so thick, so rare. I have no worries and I'm feeling swell. And all the cats what bothers me Man, how'd I get sucked into this? First, brewing pot till good and hot. What that cat up to? Uh-uh. I gotta go where the wild goose flies. Boy, boy, I'm the only living mortal what knows the secret for curing baldness. The secret? <laughs> uh, what secret? Why the secret of regrowing fresh hair? I got a date in a half an hour. Could it be ready by then? Sure enough. Just leave your head in my hands, boss. First, we massages the scalp well, and then uses the secret tonic handed down to me by my sainted granny. Now, just a few drops, then we rubbed it in real good. And presto! More hair! Well, what do you know? Now to escape that air break. And with coils, too. Me hair fell out again. 
Hmm, uh, well, uh, well, you see, boss, your head being the rare type, we have to use the mud pack treatment. Mud pack treatment? Hmm. First, we apply the mud base. And then we plant the hair seeds in the follicles. Then we mobilize the molecules with a liquid revitalizer. There you are, boss. Who said grass don't grow on a busy street? Uh, by the way, do you like the color? Gorgeous, boss. Gorgeous. Came off again. Go on the boss. We gotta get rid of this dandruff right away. Dandruff? Y'all the boss, you're next. Now first we stimulate the cranium with a stimulating massage. is really tingling. Then activate the roots with a special tonic. Now, the singe. <laughs> and we tops it off with an egg shampoo. That's all. Next customer. So long, Baldy. Let's not be splitting hairs. The boss, genuine natural hair. Gee, you really did it. Thanks. Hmm, just in time for me day. Could it be the spring that eats the dog that makes the curly dog care? Oh no! Seem to whisper Louise. Birds in a tree seem to twiddle Louise. Each little rose tells me it knows I love you. Love you. Hiya, fellas. Hello, Cousin Hyman. Say, why all the gloom? 
And where's Louise? Louise? The cat broke up our show. And, and, and caught Louise! <laughs> caught Louise? <laughs> Gesundheit. Thank <laughs> you. 
your hat. Friends. 
So if you've got a little trouble or you've taken a fall, we will soothe away your tears. All you got to do is call. Attention, attention all ghosts. Report to your scare stations immediately. <laughs>
find a friend in the forest today. Must be a wind coming up. Gee, it's getting stronger and stronger. Wow, it must be a storm coming. For goodness sake, it's a giant who's <sighs> causing all the wind with his sighing. Whoop, a ghost. Wow, his hollering has caused a landslide. Don't be scared. Oh, I'm not scared. It's just that I got snow down my neck. Jeepers. I'm Casper, the friendly ghost. My name's Hugo. I, I was sighing because I'm... I'm lonesome. I've got some wonderful animal friends who can cure your loneliness. Well, that sounds just dandy. I'll go ahead and tell them you're coming. Hi, friends. I've got a surprise for you. We're going to have a guest. <coughs> Who? 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 There he is now. A giant. But he's very friendly. Couldn't he stay here for a while? W yes, uh, why not? All of a sudden, I'm tired. Uh, uh, do you have a house uh, big enough for me to sleep in? Uh, no. I know, Hugo. You can sleep in that big cave. Thanks, fellas. Well, it's time we went to sleep, too. We'll never sleep with all that racket going on. Let's turn him on his side. Easy does it. He's quiet now. I guess we won't get much rest tonight. He twitches in his sleep. I don't know if it was such a good idea bringing him here, Casper. Oh, what a night. Couldn't sleep a wink all night. Yeah, that giant kept a twitching and a snoring. Uh, now for my morning exercises. One, two, three, four, five. There goes my house. Now I'm hungry. You wait here, Hugo. We'll bring you some food. Thank you, Casper. We'll have to get a lot of fruit and berries to feed him. I guess so. <laughs> Have you had enough breakfast, Hugo? Oh, well, I always eat a light breakfast. Uh, uh, but lunch and dinner, that's when I really eat. Casper, you wear us out fetching food for him. We'll run out of food for ourselves. We can't sleep. And besides, he might step on us. Casper, get rid of that giant. <laughs> you don't like me. <laughs> Help! It's a flood! Casper, do something. Stop him from bawling. Gosh, I'll have to do something or I'll lose all my friends. Please, Hugo, stop crying. They weren't talking about you. They weren't? Well, I thought they were. No. Gee, I feel so glad. Uh, let me fix your house, Mr. Rabbit. There, it's all fixed. Help! Help! The lumberjacks are coming! Oh, no! How awful! They'll cut down all the trees! That sounds bad. Real bad. 
Which one should we start with? Look, a giant! You were expecting maybe Tom Thumb? Yeah! I did good, huh, Casper? Uh, uh, tell me I did real good. You did good. Real, real good. Just the way a giant should. We, we love, love you so! so. Junior! You come home this very instant. That's my mama calling me. Uh, uh, goodbye now. Uh, uh, coming, mama! You shouldn't have run off from giant land like that, you naughty boy! Gee, I'm sorry, mama. Nice boy, that Hugo. But I guess you're all kind of glad he's gone. <laughs> Casper, Hugo was the nicest person you ever brought us. <laughs> oh, well, I guess you just can't please all of the people all of the time. Thank you.